You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> no, the thing I was gonna say was a. Uh, Brazil seeking millions of dollars in damages from a from some meat packer. I was like, hey, how, how bad they they fucking guys in the ass that's causing environmental damage. A lot There's of spillover. Like, yeah, or, yeah. Uh, you're ruining the Amazon backed up. with all the with all the ass fucking <laughs> yeah. you're doing. They're like gays are ruining the, the Amazon. Yeah, like, this They're is the strangest take I've. <laughs> yeah, they're destroying the moral fabric of our society <laughs> and the Amazon rainforest. And that's why we've cut down trees. Yeah, because we need somewhere to put them. Yeah, no more meat packing. <laughs> what a what a. How much damage is for actually destroying meat packaging? Anyway, what's I don't know. I didn't. I didn't read that far. I just saw. <laughs> I just saw they're seeking seeking damages from meat packing, and I'm like, yeah. whoa! <laughs> take it easy on the man. The gays I, can do no right. I was. <laughs> they're I, like, hey, leave them alone. You know what I mean? I was stuck to. Uh, I, I think uh, it's like the. I think it's like deforestation, not de gay sex. <laughs> that's causing. The damage in the Amazon. I was like, D what else would you be doing? <laughs> you know what you're doing. It's deflowering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, I think you mean deforestation. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean deflowering anally. <laughs> yeah. Ass no, sex. no, we don't have flowers out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a forest. Yeah. There's flowers in the forest. That's it's probably flowers. Yeah. Wrong. I'm but, guessing. You know, yeah. you don't think of them in the forest. They start as flowers. Trees. Yeah, that's how the big trees start. I think. Right. It's flowers. I don't and think they, and, they get, <laughs> and they get really big. From I don't there. think they're like butterflies. <laughs> I think trees are different than butterflies. <laughs> they start out as like little little flowers, and then they're like <laughs> they fucking. I think they start out as little trees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. But they got little flowers on them, maybe, and that becomes bigger, more limbs or something. You know what? This is the second uh, episode in a row, too, that we've talked about meatpacking <laughs> plant for no yeah, we, reason. I don't we know. talked about it with Kelly, too, of the <laughs> as an analogy for comics who are just trying to get ahead by doing clips and don't have the other foundation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and for some reason, it ended up in meatpacking. Yeah, we're all... This is a, a meatpacking <laughs> podcast. Not like that. No, maybe a little like that, but yeah. Yeah, but you know... It used to be what a, a fun job. What a, used what to be a like silly. one of those. It used to be like one of those child labor jobs. You know, now it's yeah. like an adult sad job. I think it's one of the ones we're packing. trying to bring back to child labor. Yeah, too. we should. Yeah, you learn some. You learn how to use your hands. Seems mm -hmm. like it's the safest. If you're gonna put in a kid in a factory, yeah, might as well be like meat packing. Nothing dangerous. There's for sure dangerous things, and I don't know what goes into packing meat, but it's. <laughs> I bet it's just like you know. Hey, everyone, get in there. Pack, grab some meat. Pack, grab, grab some grab meat. meat and bag it. Pack it. it. And like, ah. no, it's, it's like a like, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, like being in the ball pit or yeah, something. Exactly. But meat. Oh, I got more meat than you. <laughs> They're having meatball fights. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Child labor is fun. That's Child what, labor can be fun. That's what we're trying to say. Is, okay, who you can know. build the best iPhone? Oh. <laughs> me, 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 me. Who can build the most I got iPhones more tungsten. Today. I'm not going to share my tungsten. <laughs> Man, yeah. That's Lisa's of... taking on my copper wire. <laughs> Lisa, share the copper my, wire. My mom, who's a meth addict who sold me to this factory, said she needs it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? Do kids back. get sh sold into child factories? I don't factories think they get sold. Do they want to go? I don't think they want to <laughs> go. Is it the desire, the I, thirst I think it's like for a, work? I think it's like a, a factory moves into like a village. <laughs> and they're like, you work here now. I think it's like that. <laughs> they just take over the town. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know though. And that that's what like I don't know how we do up. it in America. <laughs> We'd pair it with like school in America. It'd be like, oh, you got PE yeah. this year. I had iPhones. <laughs> I had building. <laughs> I had iPhones. iPhones last semester. I had stitching. Sucked. <laughs> yeah. I had building I luggage. Stitched garments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, another year of building luck. I failed last year. <laughs> Gotta do it again. I thought I did be, fine. I honestly Yeah. You got you're gonna have calculus and then like and then like sewing basketballs. Yeah. That's gonna be your next <laughs> I don't know if you get to do both. I don't, yeah. I don't think they teach you the smart things if yeah. they're having you also sew. What's we gonna do, you know? Uh, you know. If, it, if it's gonna be like in school, we might as well throw it in there. Yeah. Know? The smart the smart may or may not uprise. I guess they. Well, they calculus won't. is pretty like it's like a normal class that people take in like California. Sort of. 
It's it's up. It's it's high math. Yeah, make them build basketballs. <laughs> What are they? Uh, you don't smart. Need, you probably just need geometry. It's high school for... calculus, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. That's true. I mean, it's I, easy. I took high school calculus. No, and, uh, <laughs> I couldn't do it. But... My teacher was awful. Yeah, exactly. But you did it. Yeah. You could build some fucking, make some license plates here and there. You know what I mean? I don't no, know. That's more like can. prison labor. Yeah, that's, that's child <laughs> labor. That's Which we do. Far. We have a lot of prison that's labor. Yeah. That's... yeah, they're like, we don't even trust them that's to sew luggage. Far. Yeah. And like, you're doing plates. <laughs> what else do they build? They build anything else good? I'm sure they do other stuff. I, I think they do a lot of other things that we just probably don't even know about it. Yeah, but there's probably some like clothing or other. I'd be sick. Simple like, things. They like, probably they probably we'll pack it. some meat here and there. <laughs> yeah, they probably pack some meat. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, making Supreme today, pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe like you think you're into the brands you're making. Yeah, probably not. Probably not making good <laughs> brands. <laughs> I, I think they're making uh, off brands. Yeah, off brands or or whatever. Make a lot of Pumas. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever Amazon brand is. They're probably making Amazon brands. Yeah. Honestly. I wonder what's cheaper, prison or child labor. What do you think? If you're question. a big company, yeah, what's better to outsource it to China, have some kids make it, or keep it American made? Guy <laughs> who is in 25 American years for weed, prison labor made, prison <laughs> yeah. labor's real small yeah. on the label. He went to jail in 98 for a gram of weed. Yeah, I mean, I think it <laughs> depends. Your... Depends. I think kids are probably, if it's small things, they're better at building the thing. You know, putting the stuff together. I don't think. You think so? I don't know, dude. I think kids care more than people in the prison system. <laughs> I don't know. I bet it's like I don't think prisoners are taking any pride in the things they're making. I bet you're like you're making stuff that's like a like a privilege though. You like you've earned making phones. Yeah. You're like, dude, that's the guy. They're like, we don't can, fuck with him. He's we, he's on phones all day. It's like first class on a plane. They're like, we can give you metal tools. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we trust you with metal and you glass. can weld in prison. That's cool. That's a good thing. Yeah, that is an upgrade in. Yeah. I'd be busting ass if I was a prisoner, dude. Yeah. I'd have the nicest fucking license plates. <laughs> just... I'm going to be like, damn, dude, look at that shine on yeah. Willie's plates. <laughs> he, really he really cares. He really wants to be here. He's really trying <laughs> to get out of gin pop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> into, the, <laughs> into the upper echelons. Yeah. There's got to be a nicer side in prison right there. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I saw Goodfellas. Yeah. What's the one where you cut garlic razor thin? <laughs> that's the know. that's the part of prison. It's, uh, Gordon Ramsay's prison. Yeah, <laughs> Master Chef. Yeah, no, no. Remember in, in Goodfellas, he's cutting the garlic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like mafia side. I want yeah. the mob side. <laughs> yeah. I want to be so good at making license plates. They're like come into mob prison. Yeah, I want the more the more illegal side of prison. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of sides of our prison system are super illegal already. Yeah, I don't want the even shadier side that's so shady it's not even run by yeah. the guards anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's run by guys in there or they're having a good time. Yeah. They don't want to yeah, get it's out. It's run by other prisoners. <laughs> that's the part to they're be They're like, in. we're no happy here. <laughs> yeah. No, we run this place. Yeah. Outside, garbage men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some like European prisons, they're pretty nice though. Like in Finland, they get to watch... TV, I think, right? You're like yeah. a TV in your room. Yeah, Finland, they're just Pretty like nice. hostels. Yeah, but I, I just, I know I, you're like, how can I stay in one of these? Yeah, I'm like, I've paid more to stay in worse. I just places. Get, I got to stab a guy and then I get to <laughs> stay free. That's sick. I get a month here. Finland rules. Can I backpack and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Is it is it co-ed still? Because <laughs> yeah. that's one of the big things. There's still a lot of historical tours. I w <laughs> you know who was here? The King of France. I w <laughs> <laughs> wow. Still here? <laughs> I'm getting just pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I read recently Finland was was named the happiest place on earth. Yeah. Like the happiest to, place to live. Because you get to stab people and they reward you. Yeah. You get you get you better get, living. You get a month of TV most time. cities here. <laughs> yeah. You get a month of TV. <laughs> You got the full cable package. You can watch American TV or whatever you yeah, want. Exactly. Like, yeah, I want to catch up on Sopranos, but work's been busy, so I knifed a guy <laughs> on the subway, and now it's just, it's just me and Tony hanging yeah. out. <laughs> I I apologize to the guy before I did it. I he's I'll like, I'll take ownership like, of his it. family I now. It. I did it last month. Yeah. <laughs> Sopranos? Yeah, Sopranos. Oh, this is karma, I guess. This is what karma... <laughs> yeah, I love that. Max, man. Max came out. They got so many new shows. No, Finland's a place where you get real holiday, probably. 
where you can just take like a month off and go do stuff. Yeah, but you know, fuck that. <laughs> you want to earn Stab it? Stab a guy. I earn That's more it. fun. <laughs> What are yeah. you in here for? Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this or the Alps? <laughs> I just kind of wanted some me time. You know, the family was getting on my nerves. Yeah. So I stabbed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is pretty unfair, though. Europe, I like the rest of the world gets vacations. I don't know if South America gets vacations, you know? I think that's just like... I don't know. They seem Europe. to figure it out. They're like... I've I've been around people out there and they seem always on vacation they're like yeah i'll work a, a couple days and then not and then and rules yeah yeah you don't need vacation i'm sure that's not most of them i'm sure most of it is very difficult but a lot of the people out there who i've yeah and I've like met the, just kind of have easy like yeah not at easy lives but in like calm the, lives <laughs> yeah exactly as as like not it's, do, not it's working that too or, hard. You're, or you're starting a revolution against the government yeah yeah <laughs> those are the two lives you can have in <laughs> south america <laughs> there's a nice chill life or you're in the jungle starting a guerrilla war <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah because even like the favelas there's like nicer favelas to be part of that i learned they're like oh this is the favela you want to be under because the uh the gang that runs this one is is actually pretty nice oh that's cool <laughs> like it's different gangs that run all of them yeah yeah you don't want a bad gang to overtake your favela yeah it sucks you know it's like when like a like when a shitty company buys your building <laughs> exactly i had that happen i know exactly yeah, I how it goes that. i'm like i get this <laughs> yeah dude and, you know i had a i had a guy buy my building and then like rent went up a little yeah they, they raise rent, they make it noisier, they try and get they kill your mom. people to move out. <laughs> <laughs> they take one of your family members hostage and, until you decide to go work for them. <laughs> they try and sway politics in their direction. That's yeah. actually, that's similar to landlords out here. Yeah, exactly. That does happen. Yeah, it means different. You're like, yeah, landlords are a real problem out here. They're, they're gangs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ours too, yeah. sort of. <laughs> yeah, our landlord uh, slaughtered my family. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's all kind of no, the same. No, it sucks your rent goes up uh, like 10% every year. That's really hard. My uh, my landlord uh, put a gun to my head <laughs> and demanded 20,000 euros yeah. <laughs> for I now, pesos. I whatever. now sell drugs for them forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They took my finger. Yeah, no, no, we're saying the same thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Think. yeah. No, I know. Yeah, they there's there's a lot of noise because of construction. Yeah, <laughs> no, that sucks. Yeah. I I yeah. was also my fingernails have almost grown back. <laughs> I was also woken up early <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with a gun in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it might as well. But I was getting a headache from all the jackhammering. It's loud. Yeah, no, it's tough. Yeah, they don't clean the pool as much. <laughs> Yeah, we they don't clean the pool as much from all the the bodies in the yeah, pool. They drowned they my brother in the pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we also <laughs> Yeah, they haven't cleaned that either. <laughs> He's still there. I get that. <laughs> no, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm just hoping for a new landlord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wish I can own myself. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the land. <laughs> That'd be yeah, it's like the same thing. Yeah, I'm, it's almost the exact. <laughs> it would be good to be a landlord, though. That'd be fun. I'd do it. Yeah, I'd totally do it. It'd, Just have someone else give you money. For yeah, yeah, living. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love. I'd love to do that. We've talked about landlords many a times between us. I just love it because in your mind, a landlord is literally just someone who just people give them money. They don't do anything else yeah and i mean it's close but yeah <laughs> now they do like a couple things sure they're like hey can you fix this and then i'm like oh i gotta okay and then you call that guy like hey can you fix this and you're like man can't wait for my free money yeah you that they I mean? don't do you're you're right on that you don't yeah. even have to call the landlord i mean they just put the manager as the middleman you call yeah. them and then the manager goes well the building owner doesn't want me to do that or the building owner said no like can i talk to the building older owner no they are a shadow <laughs> yeah exactly no it's it's tom cruise yeah <laughs> he owns his whole neighborhood yeah. i'm i'm close enough to the scientology building he might i don't know yeah. well that's like half the time someone owns a house in la it's like you know who's in this this bit character from this 1990s tv yeah. show like every time someone owns a house in la yeah you know it's remember the guy the, remember the mailman from fucking 
Welcome home, Wilson. Or yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's someone who play. someone who came about during the talkies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or or Chinese businessmen. Yeah. Or and even that just is ninety like percent of Hollywood it's, now. It's like nineties fucking. It's like half of landowners in L.A. Yeah, or like guys who like fought Urkel one episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, to, Tony was renting a house from yeah some dude who was bit parts on like Nickelodeon yeah. or Disney Channel. My shows. girlfriend's mom owned <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> my girlfriend's mom was like, "You know who owns this house?" And then she named some show I've never heard of, and I was like, "No, I don't know who that is." But yeah, they own the fucking this house in Altadena. Yeah, we're that's all- like most of I think that's like a a small like landowning class, so we're not taking into account. Bit character like Lando, cla- oh, yeah. like bit character <laughs> daimyos. <laughs> like like a, a class of people or a class we didn't get to take in school. <laughs> no, 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 like, a, like a like a landowning class. Yeah, like fucking. That is, you know, guys who had one scene with like Will Smith. Yeah, and fucking Fresh Prince. They're in SAG for life, and yeah, have. Health and insurance they, and, and they stuff. just price people out of LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've continued to rent their home. Yeah. And they went and lived somewhere else. Yeah, they live in fucking Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> for free. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah. You can't do it any- anymore, but that yeah. was the way to do it. Yeah. That's, What's that's the what new did. way? <laughs> there, there has to no be way. a new way there eventually, is no new right? Way. It's just moving to somewhere else. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need to, you know, usurp our government, but just local landlords. Yeah, right. We need some local militias. We just take it back. Yeah, local militias of fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not fair. <laughs> oh yeah, I know it sucks. Yeah, that sucks. You want? I also my... wish I was born forty years earlier. Do you no, want to rent my house it. for five thousand dollars a month? Now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to live in the ADU in the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> That's yeah. a great thing of, oh. of people who rent their homes and then live in the additional unit in the backyard. Yeah, like, like, oh, you're also doing shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This is almost more sad oh. than me not being all for the place. Everyone's doing awful. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing housing prices going up and they're like, that's a good thing for the economy. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, real estate's never been more expensive. I'm like, isn't that, isn't that bad? The I thing, don't get this. The thing we don't uh, we don't ever get is that economy just means rich people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, rich people are doing really well. Yeah. I think that's all it means here. It's never, it's never for like, us. No, stock prices are going up. You're like, I can't afford stocks. Yeah. You're like, wait a minute. You got to be, people are like, <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be down. So that's good. People are like, stocks are going up. That's awesome. Like, do you have stocks? <laughs> No, no, but no, I don't have stocks. I can afford com- them. They're the, so expensive. The economy's good, right? Yeah. <laughs> People are making hand over foot for their homes. You own a home? No, no. I rent. No, no, I could never. <laughs> <laughs> I will never own a home in my lifetime. But it's good they're going up. Yeah. Maybe maybe my pay will go up. No, probably not. That's nah, not, not, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> economics. <laughs> I don't know how we're, any of this works. We're counting on that. <laughs> yeah, we made it just confusing and boring enough. <laughs> you will never understand it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. everyone fights against their own interests too. You watch people who are who are nine to five workers and they're like, no, we don't want to go to a four day work week. Then they're going to pay me less. And it's like, no, no, the fight is to get paid the same for a four day work week because yeah. you're doing as much output. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're fucking, they're like, no, pay me for hours and yeah. nothing else. Well, it's because new stuff is scary. Yeah. You don't want to be fucking, cause I don't know. You know how it works too. It's like you do. They're like, no, we're going to pay you more. And they cut your fucking, your, they cut you a day. And they're like, nah, we're not going to pay you more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's not how it works. They do that works. anyways. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Find a way around it. Yeah. I don't, we should at least fight for our own interests in some way, right? We should at least yeah. aim for fighting for the interests and then, you know, yeah. that's the whole shoot for the stars and you land at least in the sky like, or something. I don't know. It's like it's like rooting for a losing team. You know what I mean? Eventually <laughs> yeah. you're just like ah, the middle like, class. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. It's like the it's like the fucking lions any year besides this year. They're <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh we're so close. Nope. <laughs> Maybe this year we'll fucking make something happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's easier to just be like not not involved. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's, it's worse. It's definitely worse for the world. But it'd just be like, ah, I'm just fucking <laughs> I'm just sick. I'm <laughs> sick of losing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I would join this cause, but I know it's going to lose. Yeah, it's going to lose. Half you're going to die. I just wasted my energy. I got nothing. Yeah. We've talked about that being a martyr. You're just like, you don't even get any of the fun stuff you fought for or whatever. Yeah. Like, anyone protesting something. Yeah, right. yeah, you don't yeah, even get any of the spoils. Yeah, you die before you get to see any of it. What a, what was the point? Got, oh, you guys get to do fuck you guys, dude. Got people out there <laughs> protesting for a better world who aren't even having children. Who are you fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Know. I don't know. Not much. Not much getting better. We're almost in the new year. Yeah, dude. You got any we big New Year's plans? You gonna no. see the world? <laughs> yeah. You gonna finally start that start finally. that business? Uh, I'm gonna live, laugh, love, and stuff. Isn't that what that was about traveling and shit? I don't know honestly what that came from. Live, laugh, love. I thought it was uh, just like a like a Macy's thing. It's just, <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> I was like, I was like Macy just wanted to sell pillows. I thought it came from like a book or a movie or something. It or might. a book that was a movie or Oprah or. <laughs> I don't doubt. That the Macy's advertising department, I bet, I bet they fucking, there's, there's like some guy who like lives in Iowa who's like, yeah, I fucking did that shit. <laughs> I lived, laughed, Everyone loved harder than anybody. Says it now. Yeah. Nonsense. Gonna, it means nothing. Yeah. That's my like, like John Lennon quote <laughs> in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Next year will be, it'll be good. Next year's just going to. Suck because it's going to be the circus of an election year. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm already out. Yeah. Dude, the election year felt like it started this year. I'm like, we're doing this like we do Christmas. It just keeps getting longer and longer. Eventually, it's going to be like a president gets elected and like for one year, they kind of do something while complaining about what the last president did. And then the next three years are just campaigning to be elected again. Yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> no, dude, I think we need... Uh... She did one of those dog presidents. I went to a place, they had a dog mayor. Yeah. And it was all good. I mean, yeah. It was fine. People are happy. It's whimsical. Yeah. We need to get back to whimsical Everyone was as a country. one race, too, which was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. No cats were there. It was yeah. strange. <laughs> what happened to all the cats? Yeah. <laughs> dog oh, mayor. Dog funny. mayor threw them out years dog ago. Chased sucks. them out. Yeah. Doug Mayer doesn't like Mexicans living here. You're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Some dogs are racist, you know? Again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why is this Doug Mayer town all white? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doug Mayer did. He's, it's like, it's. there's no like public segregation, but we like, don't really like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also, a Doug Mayer. <laughs> also, if we have enough other races, they're going to vote the Doug Mayer out and a real person in. <laughs> That's for sure a white person thing having a Doug Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, what if there was a guy? No one's taking care of the roads. <laughs> yeah, but who's a good boy? <laughs> yeah. Who's a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> the mayor's being a good boy. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> busy chasing his mayor tail. mayor barks at black people. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. It's a sundown town. Yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's a sundown town. Maybe it's dog town. mayor. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, you're gonna want to be inside don't the go dog to that town. <laughs> you know, stay away from <laughs> the town with the dog mare. Don't yeah, go. Don't go there. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> Black businesses are run out of town. Yeah, abortions illegal. You know, yeah, abortions illegal. <laughs> In California, yeah. abortion's illegal. And, and gays get spayed and neutered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's horrifying. <laughs> yeah. The pounds are full <laughs> of gays. <laughs> should have never, oh. let, should have never oh, let this dog become <laughs> yeah. a fascist dictator. <laughs> Go from <laughs> this dog mare town. Yeah, they're all, well, because they're always in like the woods. <laughs> they're always in somewhere creepy and like where you can do that shit. 
It's never like a fucking like a town, like a yeah. nice town. It's always like, all right, last stop before Sacramento. Yeah, Dog Mayor <laughs> Sundown Town. <laughs> <laughs> There's one like near Palm Springs that has a dog bear, and it's like uh, it was like a celebrity haven. Yeah, I remember. I know it's wild to me that it's not Idlewild. It is Idlewild. It is Idlewild. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, of course. Even that sounds like a like the Idlewild lynchings. Yeah, of, <laughs> like, you know it sounds like bad. <laughs> that's like a bad. That's like a a hot desert town too. That's not a good town for a dog. No, Idlewild's in the in the in the mountain. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, it's the mountains over by It's like near Palm Springs, Springs but it's like like in between there and Coachella. I don't know. Yeah, it's somewhere place. over there. So, I don't know okay. exactly, but yeah, it's kind of near Palm Springs area. It's the mountains. Yeah, dude. What uh what animal do you think could run a town the best? Um it's certainly not people. <laughs> I think people. I do think people are better than <laughs> I don't know. There's like some... a monkey? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe. that'd be second best. That'd be second best. He could at least hold a pen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can write that's legislation. A of, that's a lot of what it is. <laughs> you need to be able to sign things. Otter. Okay. Mark says otter. Otter? Otter's oh, organized. Okay. Organize. Yeah, I like true. that. Otters and be good. And they're cuddly. Yeah. Aren't. Um... And they, they, they kill each other too. That's kind of like people. And like Otters? big groups. They like go to. They're like otter wars. Really? Yeah. It sounds yeah. like the cutest wars. It's like a thing, yeah. Do they kill each other with their big fat tails? They just like Probably, slap each other with the tail. Yeah. <laughs> I think they like drown each other. Oh, I have seen that. <laughs> yeah. It looks so cute. Their hands are small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing to that other one? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at him. He's chewing off his legs. <laughs> He's chewing off his little legs. Chewing off his leg to get away from that other one yeah. that's trying to drown him. Like an otter Abu Ghraib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the otter war crimes of of the of the river otter. I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> All you needed German... to do was commit to anything. And yeah. And yeah. <laughs> well, we started yet. He's pulling up. We're pulling up a. Otter Wars, and I got distracted. Oh, oh, so that's I got on you. me. That's that would have me. distracted me too. That was. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, we're about to see some fucking otter fights." Oh my god! And like just the middle of the water, there's a gang okay. of them. There's like, there's like six. Oh, he's fucking up his friend. Whoa! Friendly I thought they fire. were in a group that's together. That's the Pat Tillman of otters, right there. <laughs> <laughs> the ones in the front get a crop. Oh, he just got Pat Tillman. <laughs> The ones, in the, the ones in the front get across, and they're like, wasn't there more of us when we started this? Yeah. How do you tell each other apart, too? I know. That's, what I was that's why they smell each other's asses. It's like a Geneva that's Convention the, thing. That's the, that's the <laughs> like, you way. have to look different. You have to have a different smelling ass. <laughs> after, the, their, after the otter Geneva Convention. Yeah, that's their uniform. Yeah, exactly. Whatever your ass smells like. Yeah. And then it's it's like the, the, you drown the ones whose asses smell bad. No, but like if you if you camouflage your ass smell, that's like a oh, war crime. Yeah, I think or like then it's like. Is that why dogs rub their asses on the carpet and stuff? They're like I gotta get that different smell. Well, no, they don't go to war. Only otters. Look at that one. He's eating a crocodile. Holy shit! Whoa, otters are gnarly. Yeah, yeah. Put them in charge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I say we elect one. an otter in twenty twenty four. Yeah, I don't know what an otter. Or be like more. Only other choices is uh, keep it safe from crocodiles. RFK, who sounds like an otter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's as close as we're gonna get. All right. Okay. Well. Uh, hey, welcome back to Two Dumb Babies. <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot to do the beginning. It's all good. People know. Hey guys, it's Two Dumb Babies. Welcome back. Oh, let's do a better one. We can do it better. Hey guys, welcome back to Two Dumb Babies. We forgot to do this in the beginning. So we're doing it now. At the end. At the end. I'm, I was Willie Simon. I was Eric Friedman. And uh, thanks for listening. We hope you enjoy the episode. Um, we got a... Uh, do you have any show dates coming up? you got anything you're I got a for? bunch. Uh, I'll be posting them all, but I'm going to be opening for Craig Conant in the new year. Uh, we got some dates in January, March, April, and on. Um, just start looking for those. The ticket links will be up soon. Hell yeah. I, um, 
Yeah, check out uh, my Instagram for uh, show dates at Willie Simon underscore. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch in January. It'll be fun. So, um, in the LA area generally. So, yeah, yeah. just come check this that out. This will be at the beginning of January. Yeah, sweet. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you next week. Bye.